racism, indifference, mischances to stop serial killers scrutinized in Cyprus. Nicotia, Cyprus is more than the greatly body count that numbs people on the small East Mediterranean island nation of Cyprus. The country may have experienced mass killings decades ago during inter-ethnic conflicts, but the self-confessed crimes of the military officer are something new for the island of around 1 million people. The army passed and told authorities over several days last month that he killed five foreign women and two of their daughters. Police have found bodies in a flooded mine shaft. The abandoned mine stopped its late and was hit at a military firing range. The officer is widely acknowledged to be Cyprus' first serial killer. Authorities haven't named him publicly. Questions about police inequities or indifference possibly allowing the suspect to keep killing for about two and a half years after the first victim was reported missing have been part of the painful fallout. At a second vigil for the seven slain victims outside the presidential palace in Nicosia on Friday, participants also expressed concerns that racism and economic inequality were other factors. Many women from the Philippines work as housekeepers in Cyprus, and four of the victims were Filipino. I mean, if it would be a Cypriot woman missing for so long, they would definitely do something. Katarina Felicia, who is from Poland and married to a Cypriot citizen, said. But because we're foreigners, they think nobody would find them, nobody would look for them. Residents, immigrant rights activists and government officials say they want to know this and exactly how police failures contributed to killings instead of preventing them. Three, Ishida Papadopoulou, whose husband is a prominent Cypriot politician, said she asked in October 2016 for help learning the whereabouts of a Romanian woman and her child after the pair vanished. A police officer told her authorities had good reason to believe 36, Python year old Livia Florentina Bunia took her a Python year old daughter to the ethnically divided nation's breakaway Turkish Cypriot North, Papadopoulou said. I believe that maybe, some other women should have been safe, she told public broadcaster RIK. It was only the chance. Discovery of 38, Python year old Mary Rose to first no found body down the mine shaft on April 14 that sparked a full investigation. Authorities detained the suspect soon after tracking the dead woman's online message exchanges with the army captain. The head of the Cyprus Domestic Workers Association, Louis Kautrapai, has recounted that when he reported to Bersio missing last year, a police officer said he was too old to concern himself with Filipino women. Cyprus President Nito Danis has promised the government would scrupulously investigate both the abhorrent murders and the actions or failures of police in following up on missing person cases. Danis Kapiak fired police chief Zacharias Prizesini on Friday for what he said was possible negligence in carrying out swift and thorough investigations that could have saved life. Justice Minister Ionis Nikolaou, who resigned Thursday, also spoke of possible mistakes by law enforcement. She also alluded to darker attitudes and perceptions pervading society that honor no one. Three, Cyprus has a Filipino community of about 14,000 that experiences discrimination and exploitation, according to civil rights advocate Lisa Jacot. Four of the people the suspect said he killed, including the first young and her six, hyphen year old daughter, were Filipino. A noticeable number of Filipino immigrants earn 400 euros per month working long hours as housekeepers for employers who hold their passports and work permits. Esther Beattie, chair of the Federation of Filipino Organizations in Cyprus, says she hopes the killings serve as a wake-up call to those nasty employers to adhere to European employment standards. It's a view shared by others at Friday's protest vigil. Charles Nepal says he feels that if people from Asian countries are ignored in Cyprus the government should respect the people who came here to work, he said. Even the police's most ardent supporters concede that the investigation of the initial missing persons reports were insufficient. Police Support Association head Nikodos Papamilshevis acknowledged the lack of proper oversight by those officers' immediate superiors. However, Papamilshevis rejected the notion that racism was a major factor, noting that foreign workers do cross into the breakaway Turkish Cypriot North without notifying authorities. 
divided in 1974 when Turkey invaded following a coup by supporters of Union with Greece. Cyprus Northern Third is an unrecognized entity and Cypriot police have no jurisdiction there. So evil vacuum the force those who want to disappear away out. But Popular should have said that certainly no excuse for lackadaisical police work. There's no real voice. It is easy for some police officers to ignore foreign worker complaints or missing person reports if they're under no pressure to do so, said Stefano Sponius, a professor of social work at the University of Nicosia. Sponius said in his experience with working with migrants and refugees is less a matter of police racism than when a stupidity within a disorganized force made up of officers earning low pay. Cyprus is a nice country and actually is very safe, she said. But what happens now, it's very difficult to feel safe because you never know who will test you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.